गाइस दिस इज योर फ्रेंड सलमान खाटक एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्यूचर कंटीन्यूअस टेंस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फ्यूचर कंटीन्यूअस टेंस फ्यूचर कंटीन्यूअस टेंस इज यूज्ड फॉर एन ऑनगोइंग एक्शन इन फ्यूचर ओके गाइस एज यू सीन द सिंपल डेफिनेशन ऑफ फ्यूचर कंटीन्यूअस टेंस दैट फ्यूचर कंटीन्यूअस टेंस इज यूज्ड फॉर एन ऑनगोइंग एक्शन इन फ्यूचर Like we were using past continuous tense for an ongoing action at some point in past. So now, if we are talking about future and the action in future is ongoing at that particular time and it will remain continue for some time, so we will use future continuous tense for that for that sentence. Okay. So when we say that we will use future continuous tense, it means that we are saying that we will use the formula of. future continuous tense so when we are talking about an ongoing action in future we will use the formula of future continuous tense uh, continuous tense so this is the formula and as i have told you in previous two videos that we will use for all the uh, all the sentences this universal formula so subject helping verb main verb and then the form will keep changing according to the sentence and object so the form is not the part of universal formula because it will keep changing but subject will remain subject and then helping verb and then main verb and then at the end of sentence we will use object so let's take the example of some uh, some sentence in future an action that will be ongoing in future for example we can imagine about the future for example right now we are studying here we are learning english for example i say that i i'm talking about you okay i say that that you will be speaking english you will be speaking english as you are watching videos as you are paying attention as you are working hard so i can expect that in the coming time in future this action of speaking will be ongoing will be in progress will be happening i hope so okay if you keep working hard if you keep learning english if you keep watching the videos that your action of speaking will Uh, will be happening in future so let's make this sentence according to the formula that in future you will be doing a particular particular thing what you will be doing you will be speaking english you will be speaking english so now subject helping verb main verb and object these are the components of formula first subject i am talking about for example i am talking about a, few, a, a situation in future now first i will have to see that what i am talking about because what i am talking about will be the subject of will be the subject of my sentence so i am talking about you right now you are watching video you are learning english you are paying attention you are working hard so i want to say something about you so you are the subject of my sentence why because i am talking about you so i am talking about you you are the subject of my sentence so first formula says that i should write here the subject so you are subject okay you you now this is the subject of our sentence then helping verb tells us that we have to use now the helping verbs of this sentence okay now let me tell you that what are the helping verbs that we are going to use in this sentence in this tense if subject is i or we so with i and we normally we use shall be as helping verbs with i and we we use shall be and with all other subjects except i and we we use will be means if you are if you are using i as a subject if you are using we as a subject we will use shall be and if there is any other subject any other subject then i or we we will use will be so here we can see that the subject of our sentence is you it's not i or we it's other than i and we so we will use will be so will be will be used as the helping verbs okay so we will use here will and will be okay we have used now the helping verbs helping verbs now come to the uh, to the to the main uh, main verb what is main verb now as i told you in the previous two videos that main verb is the word that shows an action means what action will be happening in future what action will be in progress in future speaking you will be speaking so speaking is the action 
that will be performed that will be ongoing so speak we will use here speak as the main verb of our sentence and as i told you that there are four forms of each verb so speak will have four forms and you will have to learn and memorize all those four forms if we want to speak english so what are the four forms of uh, speak speak spoke spoken and speaking when we add ing in, in, in the first form of uh, a verb it becomes four form so speak spoke spoken and speaking so speaking you will be you will be you will be speaking okay and at the end of the sentence formula orders us to use an object and what is an object object is the person or thing that is being affected by the by the action so what will be affected by the action of speaking you will be speaking english english will be the object of sentence why because english will be affected by the by the action and if you remove uh, english from your sentence if you remove english from there so you cannot continue you cannot you cannot continue the action of speaking it means that english is a thing that 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 will be affected by your this action so what english uh, what will english be english will be actually the object of your sentence so we will write here english as an object english and i hope that i am not going out of the screen but if i have gone out of the screen so let me tell you that i have written here english english is the object of our sentence okay you will be speaking english so in this way we have made a sentence of future continuous tense you will be we have used you as a subject then helping verb will be and then main verb uh, speaking and then object english okay let's change the sentence into negative let's change the sentence into negative and there is a very simple method which i have told you in previous two videos and what is that method that method is very simple that you will see that what is the subject of sentence and what is the first verb of first verb not second third first verb of your sentence so this is let me use red marker so what is subject you is the subject this is also helping verb and b is also helping verb but i have told you in previous two videos as well that we are to do something with only the first helping verb which is coming right after the after the subject so which is which is the helping verb which is coming right after the subject you will and then be so will is the first helping verb which is coming right after the subject so what we will do we will use not just after the first helping verb now what is our sentence you will not be speaking english you will not be speaking english mean this has become now a negative sentence this has become a negative sentence and if you want to change the same sentence into interrogative it means that if you want to change it uh, if you want to make a question so what we will do the same helping verb i told you that this is very important helping verb and you have to respect this helping verb because this helping verb me um, helps us a lot to do whatever you want to do with the sentence you want to change it into negative or into interrogative so now again we are going to make it a question so this helping verb is going to help us a lot what we will do we will shift this helping verb to this position will and we will remove it from here and for some time we'll skip not now now read the sentence will you be speaking english will you be speaking english will you be speaking english now it has become a question and if you're writing it somewhere you'll use a mark of interrogation at the end of sentence i hope it's not going out of the screen you know what is my mark of interrogation you know very well okay so now the sentence has become will you be speaking english will you be speaking english it's a question and suppose if you want to make it a change it into negative question means the sentence will remain negative as well as interrogative so what we will do we will use not after the first helping verb and we will shift will before the subject means will will come here and not will remain here and it will become a negative question what is now this sentence will you not be speaking english will you not be speaking english so this is called negative question means a sentence which is negative as well as a question so this is called a negative question so in this way we have learned how to make a future continuous sentence how to change it into negative and how to change it into interrogative 
one more important thing which you should keep in your mind that I have used, I have told you that with I and we, we use shall be and with other subjects we use will be. For example, if, if the subject of the sentence, for example, if I am telling you about myself, I will be speaking English. Now, I am the subject, for example, so I will use I. Now, I will use shall here in place of will I use shall. I shall be. Now, I have used here I as a subject. So, if I is a subject, we have learned that we will use shall be as the as the helping verbs. Okay. I shall be speaking English. So, this is the this is the typical and traditional way of making a sentence and in, in, in traditional English we use shall be. But the thing which is very important that you should keep in your mind that now in modern English people are not using shall here in these type of sentences. People are using will. People are using will with all the sentences even with I and V. They are using will. I will be speaking English. So if you say I will be speaking English, if you say we will be speaking English, it will also not be not be incorrect. It will also be correct. In American English, now uh, means in modern English, 100% of people are using will with I and I and V. 100%. Almost 100% of the people are using uh, will with I and V. But in British English, because Britishers are a bit traditional people, so they want to stick to their, they like to stick to their traditions. So what 20% of the people are still there who are using shall with I and V. But now it's up to you. If you want to be a bit traditional, you can use shall with I and V. And if you want to be a bit modern, then you can use will with all these subjects. Means you are free to use will with all these subjects. There is no restrictions. Okay, you are free. So we have completed our sentence and we, will, we have learned future continuous tense whether you like the video or not whether you want to subscribe my channel or not whether you want to hit the like button or not doesn't matter as you wish if you want to encourage me you can hit the like button and uh, and subscribe button but i just want to request you to give your comments okay and tell me how i can improve the video for you because i'm making the videos for you not for myself so if you like the video tell me that what things you have liked and if you or if you don't like the video if you want to say that so and so things should be improved i would like to request you please tell me in the comments and don't leave the comments empty allah hafiz